Hello friends, in this video I am going to talk about distant hybridization. Hybridization is crossing between two genetically dissimilar parents. Wide hybridization, in this there are two types, interspecific and intergeneric hybridization. In interspecific hybridization, the crosses are made between distantly related species. In intergeneric hybridization, crosses are made between distantly related genera. In the intergeneric hybridization and interspecific hybridization, when crossability is a problem, we will go for somatic hybridization. That is through protoplast fusion. Here, crosses made between somatic cells. Hybridization is the third major evolutionary process with uh, importance not exceeding that of mutation and natural selection. History of distant hybridization The first attempt was made by Thomas Fairchild in 1717 mm, for the crop improvement in the production of hybrid between carnation that is Dianthus caryophyllus and sweet williams that is Dianthus barbatus. The second attempt was made by Karpenchenko, sorry, the second attempt was made by Rimpu in 1890. He produced the first intergenetic hybrid, Triticale, which have greater potential than Raphenobrassica. And Karpenchenko in 1928 attempted interesting intergenetic hybrid Raphenobrassica. This is uh, Raphenobrassica, the cross between cabbage and radish and that gave uh, cabbage like roots and radish like shoots and that was a complete failure but was good for the fodder purpose. Coming to introgressive hybridization, it is transference of genetic material across an incompletely developed interspecific barrier, usually via a partially sterile F1 hybrid by means of repeated backcrossing and selection of well adapted backcross type has been termed by Anderson and Hubrit in 1938, that is introgressive hybridization or simply introgression. Interspecific hybridization Example in Nerica and Upland Rice for Africa Oriza sativa in Asia that is uh, Asian Upland Rice Non-shattering, resistant to lodging, high yield potential And Oriza glabrima that is African Rice Drought tolerant, disease resistant, uh, weed suppressing Nerica rice combines the best of both species means Nerica is nothing but a cross combination of Oriza sativa and Oriza glabrima that is a interspecific hybrid. The another interspecific successful hybrid is Brassica triangle given by Nageheru in 1935. It is a combination of three diploid mustard or rapeseed variety brassica species brassica nigra brassica alleratia and brassica campestis from the cross combinations of these three between the two uh, brassica nigra and alleratia brassica carinata that is a tetraploid ethiopian mustard originated and from the cross between brassica alleratia into campestis napus came and campestis into black mustard that is nigra gave rise to juncia these three are tetraploid uh, brassica species the another success story is triticale given by rimpo this is an intergeneric cross which was most successful this is a new cereal created by men it is commonly called as men made cereal a cross between wheat and rye was produced by embryo rescue of the product of fertilization and uh, chemically induced doubling chromosomes through colchicine doubling process. Embryo rescue becomes necessary when fertile offspring is newly produced by an interspecific cross. In this, the process is to obtain the hexaploid triticale ABR genome 
triticum torsi that is d genum triticum tergidum or durum wheat and sickle sickle cereal that is rai genum were crossed when d and ab genum comes together it will become hexaploid wheat that is uh, triticum estimum and by crossing that to rai the octaploid triticale ab with abdr genome was obtained and by doubling the chromosome number the successful triticale or cultivated form was obtained this is the cross intergeneric cross between wheat into rai and that gave this kind of seeds ground for its high protein content and yield but a triticale gives some uh, adverse effect on the qualitative parameter and chapati making quality coming to requirements for distant hybridization this is an insect resistance quality wider adaptation mode of reproduction yield development of new variety production of new crop species like uh, triticale hexaploid and transfer of cytoplasm difficulties in distance uh, hybridization are failure of zygote formation failure of zygote development and failure of f1 seedling development hybrid incompatibility hybrid inviability and hybrid breakdown are the three scientific terms given to this phenomena coming to the major interspecific crossability barriers the first barrier is temporal and special isolation of species second one is pre fertilization and third one is post fertilization barriers in the pre fertilization barrier the major are on the surface of the stigma before uh, pollen tube entry the other barrier are uh, inside the tissue the stigma and style then inside the ovary and embryo sac in post fertilization barrier non viability of hybrid embryo failure of hybrid to flower hybrid sterility lack of recombination then hybrid breakdown in f2 or later generations coming to temporal and specific isolation of parental species in this non synchronous flower of the parental species due to different agroecological or geographical backgrounds to overcome this early or staggered sowing suitable photo period treatment and vernalization treatments are required coming to pre fertilization barriers unilateral incompatibility is the first one in this this prevents fertilization by arresting post pollination events at one or many levels incompatibility operates in one direction whereas the reciprocal cross is successful that is nothing but unilateral incompatibility uh, commonly termed as ui ui is more common when cross includes a self compatible and a self incompatible cross the crosses show incompatible when an self incompatible species is used as a female parent that means when uh, female is self incompatible and male is normal means the incompatible progeny will be obtained self incompatibility inhibition is the result of active recognition of the pollen self pollen is positively recognized as a result of interaction of s allele product in the pollen and pistil the second point in pre fertilization barriers is active versus passive inhibition self incompatibility inhibition is the result of active recognition of the pollen self pollen is positively recognized as a result of the interaction of s allele product in the pollen and the pistil positive recognition results in the activation of metabolic processes in the pollen or the pistil to bring about pollen inhibition the arrest of post pollination events seems to be passive or not a result of active recognition of pollen and a result of lack of co adaptation between the pollen and the pistil it is like a lock and key mechanism and uh, present in the pistil results in incompatibility 
the third point is inhibition at the stigma surface it is resulted in the arrest of pollen germination or pollen tube entry into the stigma one of frequent barriers particularly in distantly related species is inhibition of stigmatic surface the causative factor for the failure of pollen germination that is due to lack of effective adhesion lack of full hydration or absence of pollen germination factors on the stigma pollen adhesion and hydration are prerequisite for the germination process some of the mucilaginous substances and the chemical adhesives are the major causes for the inhibition of stigmatic surface this is a microscopic view of stigma the causes of inhibition of stigmatic surface result in the arrest of pollen germination or pollen tube entry into the stigma the it is the one of the frequent barrier particularly in distantly related species the pollen adhesion this largely depends on the nature and extent of surface components of the pollen and stigma it is not a constant in species having wet stigma in pollen hydration this is result of transfer of water from stigma to pollen through osmotic gradient insufficient hydration may result in crosses in which the osmotic potential of pollen does not match that of the stigma rapid hydration occur on a wet stigma covered with aqueous exudates may lead to failure of pollen germination inhibition in the stigma and styler means both in stigma and styler if inhibition happens this is due to failure of pollen tube to reach the ovary is perhaps the most common interspecific prehybrid fertilization barrier the causes are arrest of pollen tube in the stigma just below stigma or further down the stigma arrested pollen tubes often show abnormalities in the form of thicker tubes excessive deposition of callus swollen tips branching of tubes the growing pollen tubes utilize styler nutrients arrested pollen tube growth is the inhib inability of the pollen tubes to utilize styler nutrients due to lack of suitable nutrient in the transmitting tissue or lack of suitable enzyme in the pollen tube technique to overcome barriers at stigmatic surface the first and foremost is effective pollination pollen must be transferred on the correct place and pollen should be transferred at the correct time that means spatio temporal requirement pollen must hydrate properly that is rupture to release the stigmatic exudates rub stigma before or while pollen is applied humid condition protect pollinated stigma by a gelatin capsule the second technique is mentor pollen pollen which is fully compatible with the intended seed parent is nothing but mentor pollen the causative factors for failure of pollen germination is lack of effective hydration lack of full hydration absence of pollen germination factors on the stigma pollen adhesion and hydration are prerequisite for germination as i already discussed in the previous slides techniques to overcome barriers in the styler region to overcome at styler region reciprocal crosses mentor pollination use of growth regulator like uh, growth regulators are sprayed on near or uh, on the flowers or applied to pedicel or ovary at or after pollination auxin and gibberellins inhibit pollen germination and pollen tube growth but occasionally are simul stimulatory bypassing barriers in the style pollen may have to be applied in the medium favoring germination to compensate for deficiencies in the immature stigma amputate the style and pollinate the cut stump graft a compatible pollinated style and stigma onto an alien style cut below the zone in which incompatible pollen tubes would be inhibited bypass stigma and style completely and apply pollen directly on the ovule 
this is nothing but a surgical technique the third major problem in distant hybridization is post fertilization barriers this is result in the failure of fertilized ovule to develop into mature seeds more prevalent than pre fertilization barriers it may operate at different stages of embryo development or during germination and subsequent growth of f1 hybrid the factors responsible for post fertilization barriers are unbalanced ploidy level abnormalities in embryo development presence of lethal genes genetic disharmony in embryo and failure or early breakdown of endosperm the techniques to overcome are removed completely or competing sinks crosses are made using the first flowers to open on the maternal parent all immature fruit sets on the maternal parent are removed before the cross is made remove all other fruits from the vicinity of fruit produce a white cross pruning the maternal parent to remove all active growing point reciprocal cross manipulation of ploidy level embryo rescue and use of growth regulators coming to some other techniques for production of distant hybrids the species with shorter style should be used as female parent part of style may be cut off to make it shorter example part of stigma of maize is cut off when it is crossed with tips uh, tipsacum the next technique is auto polyploidy brassica oleracea that is cabbage and brassica campestris is turnip rape do not cross with each other at the diploid level but they produce embryos when tetraploid species forms of two species are crossed embryo culture has to be used to recover embryos when two species say a and c cannot be crossed directly a third species that is called bridge species crossing technique transferring resistance to i spot from mm, tetricum estivum agilops ventricosa or vagilops ventricosa to estivum and tetricum turgidum is used as bridge species that means to cross agilops ventricosa to tetricum estivum in order to transfer the resistance to i spot these two cannot be crossed directly so for that turgidum has to be used as bridge species use of growth regulators like uh, indolacetic acid 24d naphthalene acetamide nicotiana tabacum does not hybridize with nicotiana repenta but this cross is possible when indolacetic acid is applied to pedicel of flowers in a linolin paste these are the two examples elimination of self incompatibility barriers by temporary breakdown or permanent breakdown in temporary breakdown it is physiological inhibition and in permanent breakdown it may be due to mutation generation of new self incompatible alleles or polyploidy by over to overcome the interspecific incompatibility the methods are induced mutation mentor pollen affects or bud pollination and inhibitors techniques to remove the crossability barriers in distant hybridization are embryo rescue somatic hybridization alien addition line alien substitution line and transfer of small chromosome segments coming to embryo rescue here when embryos fail to develop due to endosperm degeneration embryo culture is used to recover the hybrid plants this is called hybrid rescue example hordeum vulgare into sickle cereal cross here embryo rescue generally used to overcome endosperm degradation in this the hordeum vulgare barley with the uh, uh, diploid chromosome number 14 is crossed with hordeum bulbosum that is a wild relative to n equal to 2x equal to 14 and there chromosomal elimination will take place like hordeum bulbosum chromosome will go away so to save the vulgare or f1 progeny embryo rescue is done in order to get the uh, fertile f1 this technique was once more 
efficient than uh, microspore culture in creating haploid barley. White crossing of wheat and rye require embryo rescue and chemical treatment to double the number of chromosomes of triticale. In triticum durum, that is uh, tetraploid uh, triticum or wheat, and uh, that is crossed to rye, that is sickle cereal. In the F1, that will become 3x. The embryo rescue technique will lead to the saving of the F1. That embryo chromosome will be doubled with the uh, colchicine treatment and that will give the hexaploid triticale with ABR genomic constitution. Coming to limitations of embryo rescue, it uh, needs high cost for obtaining new plantlets. Sometimes deleterious mutations may be induced during in vitro phase. A sophisticated tissue culture laboratory and dependable greenhouse are essential for success. Specialized skills for carrying out various operations are required in embryo rescue technique. Coming to the second technique, somatic hybridization. This is development of hybrid plants through the fusion of somatic protoplasts of two different plants or species or varieties is somatic hybridization. The techniques are isolation of protoplast, then fusion of protoplast of desired species or varieties, identification and selection of somatic hybrid cells, culture of hybrid cells and regeneration of the hybrid plants. This is one of the attempt through somatic hybridization, the pomato, the bottom or roots are like tomato and the upside it is tomato. Protoplast fusion in this plant cells are taken 500 to 800 millimole per liter sorbitol plus 50 to 100 micromoles of uh, millimoles of calcium chloride are taken and uh, pectinase and cellulase are taken in order to eliminate the plants uh, cell wall then protoplasts are isolated and uh, it is the cell with without cell wall created by degrading the cell wall using enzymes pectinase and cellulase for fusion, fusing two protoplasts of different genome, one is spontaneous fusion by interspecific or intergenic and one is induced fusion by with the help of electrofusion, mechanical fusion or chemofusion. Induced protoplast fusion in this electrofusion, a high frequency of electric field or AC field is applied between two electrodes immersed in the suspension of protoplasts. This induces charges on the protoplast and causes them to arrange themselves in a lines between the electrodes. They are then subjected to high voltage discharge which causes them membranes to fuse them. They are in contact. The second is PEG or chemo induced method polyethylene glycol. This causes agglutation of many types of small particles including protoplasts which fuse when centrifuged in its presence. This is protoplast fusion. Here protoplast of species A and B are taken, suspended in enzyme mixture with high calcium, high pH treatment, PEG induced in high calcium or uh, with pH treatment, in calcium chloride plus 50 mi millimoles, uh, micromoles of 1 to 1 pH that is 10.5 pH temperature 37 degrees Celsius kept for 30 minutes and in PEG induced fusion PEG is taken at the rate of 28 to 50 percent then washing the medium uh, pH maintained is 9 to 10 then for electrofusion low voltage is maintained protoplast chain formed or desired protoplast pair aligned with a micro manipulator here high voltage or few milliseconds were given in order to make the protoplast fusion identification and selection of somatic hybrids hybrid identification is based on difference between parental cells and hybrid cell with respect to pigmentation cytoplasmic marker fluorochromes like uh, fluorocin isothiocyanate or Rhodamine isothiocyanate are used for labeling the hybrid cells. Presence of chloroplast, nuclear staining, 
and heterocarion is stained by carbon fusion acetocarmine or aceto or sin stain regeneration of hybrid plants is the fourth step here regeneration of hybrid plants are induced to regenerate from hybrid calli these hybrid plants must be at least partially fertile in addition to having some useful property to be of any use in breeding scheme coming to uses of protoplast fusion or somatic hybridization here using uh, used for combining two complete genomes exchange single or few traits between species transfer of mitochondria or chloroplast between species protoplast fusion between male sterile cabbage and normal cabbage was done and cybrid were selected that contained radish mitochondria and cabbage chloroplast the advantages of somatic hybridization somatic hybrids are produced between species that are not hybridized sexually cytoplasm can be transferred in one year while back crossing may take 5 to 6 years mitochondria of one species can be combined with protoplast of another production of novel interspecific and intergenic hybrids that is pomato um, that is hybrid of potato and tomato that i have already shown in one of the slide the picture then production of fertile diploids and polyploids from sexually sterile haploids triploids and aneuploids production of heterozygous lines in the single species which cannot be propagated by vegetative means studies on fate of plasma genes production of unique hybrid of nucleus and cytoplasm and transfer of genes for disease resistance abiotic stress herbicide resistance and many other quality characters limitations of somatic hybridization poor regeneration in the hybrid plants non viability of fused products not successful in all plants production of unfavorable hybrids lack of efficient method for selection of hybrids and no confirmation of expression of particular trait in somatic hybrids the next one is alien addition line this line carries one chromosome pair from a different species in addition to normal somatic chromosome complement of parent species when only one chromosome from another species is parent it is alien addition monosome the main purpose of alien addition is transfer of disease resistance from related wild species example transfer of mosaic resistance from nicotiana glutinosa to nicotiana tabacco the alien addition lines have been developed in case of wheat oats tobacco and several other species these are still agriculturally important since aerial chromosome generally carries many undesirable genes next is alien substitution line this has uh, one chromosome pair from different species in place of chromosome pairs of recipient or existing species when a single pair chromosome not a pair from different species is placed of a single chromosome of recipient species alien substitution lines have been developed in wheat cotton tobacco oats in tobacco mosaic resistant gene n was transferred from nicotiana glutinosa to tobacco line had 23 pairs of nicotiana tobacco chromosomes and one pair of nicotiana glutinosa chromosome the alien substitution show more undesirable effects than addition lines and more useful in agriculture transfer of small chromosome segments it's a last technique in this the segment carrying specific desirable gene has been widely used in crop improvement program it would be ideal to transfer only the desirable genes from related alien species since the gene under transfer may be linked with other undesirable gene transfer of black arm resistance from uh, gossypium barbadens that is egyptian cotton to gossypium hirsutum american upland cotton the requirements in distant hybridization quality resistance adaptability more reproduction yield 
development of new variety cytoplasmic transfer and production of new crop species here there is a list of disease and insect transferred through interspecific hybridization in different crops the varieties the cotton in cotton for quality chassis resistance species is gossypium tomentosum and transferred to hirsutum like that smoothness for ball from gossypium ar armorianum to hirsutum for weevil resistance the same one black arm resistance gossypium arboreum to barbadens then tobacco tobacco resistant to mosaic virus nicotiana glutinosa to tobacco wild fire and black fire disease nicotiana longiflora to tobacco in sugar cane serrae disease resistance from saccharum spontaneum to officinarum in potato resistant to late blight leaf roll and virus x from solanum denisum to tuberosum in wheat resistance to i spot and rust is, uh, for eye spot agilops ventricosa to estivum for rust agropyrin to estivum in peanut resistant to leaf chewing insect from arachis monticola to hypogee in okra resistant to yellow mosaic from abelmastis manihot to esculenta for quality improvement and other uh, characters in cotton for fiber length gossypium thurberi and raymondi to hirsutum in palm or for oil quality from wild species to cultivated in rice and oats for seed protein wild to cultivated in tomato for carotenoid content lycopersicum hirsutum to esculentum in tobacco for leaf quality nicotiana debnei to tobacco in potato for starch wild species to cultivated in oats for high oil content avena sterilis to sativa in cotton for male sterility gasipium hercensi her her to hirsutum and in potato for frost resistance for solanum aculeate to tuberosum limitations of distant hybridization like incompatible cross f1 sterility problems in creating new species lack of homology between chromosomes of the parental species undesirable linkage problems in transfer of recessive oligogenes and quantitative traits lack of flowering in f1 dormancy problem in using improved varieties in distant hybridization the achievements through distant hybridization first one is varlakshmi dh7 in cotton varlakshmi is also in cotton sugarcane nobilization that is crossing uh, north indian and south indian with wide and between different species then parbhani kranti that is abel mustus esculenta into manihot then bajra napier grass thank you hope you liked this video and don't uh, forget to subscribe my channel thanks once again